Oh, I couldn't breathe in that thing. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, how's it going? I'm back. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Amnesia number one. I don't know why I said that. Uh, yeah, I uh, haven't played this in a while. <clears throat> Alright, and if you hear me clear my throat, I apologize. I'm, I'm sick. It's... Yeah. Be careful when enemies are near. Crouching in the darkness makes you a lot harder to spot. Why you tell me that, mister? Hello? Oh, no. That's not good. <coughs> okay. Now, I don't have... Unless I do... No, I don't have any fuel for my lantern, which is kinda key! So, just, just saying. I need a... I need some lantern fuel, my boy. Anything back here? God, I can't see anything. Ooh. Okay. Let's go in here now. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, oh my god. Why is it red? Why is it red? Oh. Oh, I heard something. I don't like that. Alright, so we got, oh, a tinderbox up there as well. <coughs> Alright, we're gonna use this oil. And we got oil for our lantern. Alright. Uh, let's go in here. Hello? Anyone in here? I don't like to be spooked. What's this? Oh, okay. No! There's a letter here. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been <coughs> more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? I don't know, buddy. Your guess is as good as mine. Let's uh, close that door and put a, put a chair over there or something. I don't know. There you go. Ugh. Okay. Hello. Anyone in here? Oh, look at that. Tinderbox. Little little place in there. Um, oh, another tinderbox. Don't seem to be anything else in here. Well, let's go to the other room, shall we? No, I'm starting to think the monster's not actually in here. Close that door, just in case. Where am I? Before I pee my pants. Oh. Fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. Did he break a door down? I heard it. What the fuck? Where was that from? What? I don't know where it came. I don't know where that came from. I'm kind of spooked out now. Oh god! <coughs> All right. What's the letter here? I guess we'll read that. Twenty-fifth of June, eighteen thirty-nine. Oh god! I feel the need to continue this journal, even though it was intended for my journey to Africa. This must be something very important. I just know it. I've taken it upon myself to piece the orb back together, but it's been more difficult than one might think. The pieces are behaving strangely. They seem to change color, shape, and texture, but ever so slightly. 
yesterday. I took careful measurements and notated any significant markings. Today, I confirmed my suspicions. They were changing. I was terrified and rushed off to see the finest geologist in London, Sir William Smith. I approached the subject with care and we discussed how rocks change form. He told me about the nature of glass, how it eventually collapses on itself, like ice slowly melting over the course of centuries. Smith eased my mind a bit, but I can't escape the feeling that these shards have otherworldly properties. Very interesting thing to think about, actually. Very interesting about the rocks. What the f... Sorry, I got mesmerized by the, the ceiling. Oh, are you kidding me? Whatever, it's fine. Are there bones here? That's kind of disgusting. Yo, why do I hear crackling noises in my brain? Ugh. God. Oh. Okay. Ooh. Hell yeah. All right. Maybe we should try and conserve some of this. There's a tinderbox here. Uh, anything else? I don't believe there is, so I think we're good in this room. Let's, uh... Seems like we gotta figure out something here. Uh, barrels. Alright. Stuck something is clogging the crank and pulley contraption. <coughs> oh, it seems like it's that stick. Uh, okay. Gotta use something. There you go! Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. I thought there was another piece stuck. Alright, we're good. Is that it? Ah, there you go. Alright. Down into the deep, dark depths of the unknown we go. Hello. Hello, puss ball. Ooh. Why? Why? Okay, sorry. You get flashbacks. Flash, flashy backs. Alright. And the cellar archives we go. He crashed through the surface. The dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Hmm. Okay. Oh! <clears throat> okay. Oh, oh! Oh god, uh, not entirely sure what to do. All I know is the sound is very loud. Where is it? Okay. Does it know I'm here? Alright, so there's there's ways of going about this. I I think I need to go in that room. Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't like this. There's some books here. Okay, he detects movement. Uh. Go, 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 go. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh! 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 
Oh, I don't know what that noise was, but oh god. I made it through. Oh, my heart. Oh god. What is this? Okay. Go on. Okay, all right, I get you. So it's feasting. Come on, 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 come on. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. What's this? What's that? What is this? A hollow needle. The fuck? The fuck do I need that for? Talk to the oh fuck. Oh, okay, did I lock it? Did I unlock it? Okay, good. Oh, God. Something large brushed against his leg. I, I'm not going to be able to read it in time. Oh, I guess I could have. Well. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, why? Why are we doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Oh, is he after me? He's 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 after me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Close the door behind me, like a boss, like a G. Oh my God, it's pulsating. Everything's pulsating. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> oh, the music in this game, the sounds. Oh my God. Why is it still going? <sighs> oh boy. We good? No more water. What is this? Okay. Oh! Is this door opening? Well, look at this fountain. Look at that. You know, I'll be completely honest, this is actually pretty beautiful. I like this a lot. Wouldn't mind having me in having it in my room. <laughs> uh, maybe I do mind actually a little bit. Um, wow. All right. That uh, that monster, whatever that was, water monster. It's friggin' freaky, dude. Oh. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Alright, I see where we need to go. Um... But I'm going to leave it off here. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, wow. It's been so much that's happened this episode. The modern monster is just like kind of like taking control of my mind right now. Um, whatever that means. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.
See you guys.